Guess what? <laughs> if you can already read by the title, this is a Danky X trans male listener. So, I found out that I do have some male read not readers, I do have some male listeners. So, I'm so glad that you guys are getting some love because I swear you guys need some love. But let's get going. Danky, we have a problem over here. I said into the headset that was connected to Danky's. I pressed the small button to signal him, but all I heard was the static when I did. Damn, this the signal's jammed. Turning around, I saw a villain char- ch- charging- What? Charging? I think it was by charging at me, which caused me to activate my quirk on him, freezing him when he was a few feet away from me. I quickly ran over and adjusted the strap so he would fall after being unfrozen from the position. Quickly letting go of the freeze before the 15 seconds were up, I quickly went around him and ran towards Danky's covered area. There was slight panic as I knew that would happen if he overused his quirk, which made it easier for him to get kidnapped. Ugh, please be okay, idiot. I whispered as I continued to run towards him. Not paying attention, I felt a stinging pain from my back. This caused me to instantly panic and activate my quirk. Turning around, I saw the infamous villain. Twice. R.I.P. I quickly pushed him down and... What? Why does this sound wrong? I think this is supposed to mean sprinted away, but it says squirted away. (laughs) Sprinted away, not letting my quirk quit just yet until I was further away. I could feel the slight cold drops of blood drip down from my neck, which caused me to panic more. I reached a hand behind me and felt my back, feeling my shirt slash costume and binder torn. I took a hard, sharp breath as I realized I never told Danky about everything. Now is not the time, Yin, I instantly yelled at myself as my quirk finally released and everything went back to being in fast motion. After a few more minutes of running, I finally spotted Danky on the west end of the city. Quickly rushing over to him, I saw a villain swinging at him from behind and quickly froze it, getting a little tired. I made sure Danky was unfroze, though, which he realized quickly, and we moved the villain to a difficult self-defense position. He then looked over, smiling at me. Took you long enough, he chuckled, as his poor attempt of a time joke towards me. I shook my head and pulled him back, looking at the villain as they unfroze and fell onto each other, defending, oh, deflating one another. I high-fived Danky and we cheered for our win, but he instantly spotted my back. Yin, what happened? He He quickly, quietly at my side as... He was looking at the cut. He didn't pay attention to the binder until... Wait... Uh, Yin, what's this? I looked back at him inside. I didn't want to explain it to him in the middle of a fight, but he seemed to be calling for answers. I'll explain later. Right now, focus on the fight, I said. His slight embarrassment laced in my voice. He seemed to agree and turn around, taking out the rest of the villains with my help. After he seemed to use his quirk too much, since he acted like a brain-dead zombie now, I quickly helped him and I backed to our apartment, passing multiple fans and other heroes, such as Deku and Gravity. Smiling and waving at them, I continued my way back to the apartment, seeing it near We had lived in the building for only a few months now, since I just moved in recently with him. He didn't mind it, though, since we've been dating for about a year or two.
Yes, I still haven't told him my secret. Walking in, I put Denki on the shared bed and let him rest, since he was still passed out. Well, now he was. While he rested, I decided to clean up and change my clothes. Walking to the bathroom, I took my costume off and hung it on the back door hook, since I had washed it immediately from the other clothes. Taking off everything, including my binder, I start at the ripped material, frowning. Damn it, that was a new one, too. Shrugging, I threw it off to the side and looked at myself in the mirror, still frowning. At the large gash on my back, I sighed and looked at my short locks, too, seeing that they've grown quite a bit in the past few weeks. Damn, I should really get a haircut, I said, and turned the bath on, starting to run it. Once I got in, I let a warm water consume me. As I slipped down into it, I yawned and let my body relax in the water for a while. Ooh. After my shower, I dried off and put on comfy clothes, a favorite colored baggy shirt, and a pair of <laughs> name brand sweatpants. I, eyes, I eye myself in the mirror again and ruffle my wet hair, walking over to the door. Opening it, I saw a chilling Pikachu laying on the bed. His honey golden eyes trailed up to my eye colored ones. He gave a sweet smile and chuckled. Took you long enough. I smiled as he commented and walked over to him. Laying next to him, I peeked over his shoulder and saw him scrolling through the news, probably reading about our battle today. I cuddled up into his shoulder and closed my eyes, inhaling his scent. He didn't smell the best since the fight, but the, his smell made me relax. Staying quiet and relaxed for a few minutes, he finally asks, So... You still need to explain and everything? I sighed, knowing it would come to this eventually. But it finally hit. That was it now. And it wasn't that I was scared to tell him. I just was nervous what he would think about it. Um, alright. I stuttered as I kept thinking, Just please don't hate me after I tell you. He looked down at me with a slight guilt and love. He leaned down and kissed my head, giving me a, a bug-squeezing hug. He smiled down at me lovingly. I would never hate you. I nodded and smiled at him. Well then, I took a, one deep breath and explained everything. You see, I was born in the wrong body. I was born as a girl. But I'm not. I'm a boy. I just have girl parts. I bit my lip. Not being able to tell what he was th what he was thinking, he just looked at me for a moment. I sighed, knowing he now hates me. I looked away, only to be pulled back into him. His hands under my chin for fo forced me to look at him. Then his lips were on mine in an instant. We stayed like this for a few minutes in love. He pulled away and looked into my eyes. Thank you, Yin, for telling me. But I have one question. He then started to fiddle with his fingers and sweat drop as he waited for my re response, which I asked what the question was. He looked back and forth and then landed on the sheets. Do you still get periods and those girl issues? He quickly retracted as I laughed at him and nodded. Yes, and they suck like ass. He just chuckles and hugs me. Well, you're one strong boyfriend. Now, let's get that hair that cut cleaned. No, you still need a shower, stinky.